Hey everybody, welcome back. So this morning at 9 a.m. I went on to look at Papa Crappy and they had some butterfly crap and a heart that had a bunch of rhinestones in it. Woo, they sold out like that. So um, I'm going to go over the new consultant checklist. Okay, so I'm just going to read it to you guys. If you guys want to see this stuff, I'm sure you can look it up online somewhere. So new consultant checklist. You receive a call from your sponsor within 24 to 48 hours from enrolling. Review starter kit contents and estimate the date of arrival. Point out fashion fix trend blends that's included and explain its purpose. Encourage a pre-launch party where at least three friends come and help open the starter kit when it arrives. Suggest additional items that they might find helpful. Displays. Apron. Cash box. Frequent buyer loyalty cards. Yard sign. So in your starter kit, you get your frequent buyer loyalty cards, but why do you need a yard sign? There's no need, so don't buy one. You don't need displays. Um, you don't need an apron, and you don't need a cash box. And if you do, you're taking it way too seriously. And what this doesn't tell you is these are upfront expenses, okay? That honestly you shouldn't have to take. Walk them through the back office login process. Make sure to show them where to place an order and how to access the resources section. But it doesn't say why you should access the resources section. Why should you access it? Because the policies and procedures are there and you should probably read them. Help them order business cards through paparazzitools.com. <laughs> Don't order business cards. Business cards are just thrown away. I know this for a fact. Because when I get a business card, I usually throw it away. All right. Start a conversation about a launch party. Create a list of people to invite. 50 to 100 people. For 35 pieces of jewelry? Really? Okay. Provide support contact information, paparazzi support, the email address, and the times they're open, 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, Mountain Standard Time. Connect to paparazzi social media channels, ooh, ah, Facebook paparazzi accessories, Twitter paparazzi access, Instagram paparazzi accessories, and YouTube paparazzi accessories. Now, I've personally been blocked from them on Instagram because after the convention, I kind of called them out on it. Schedule a follow-up call. No more than one week from the initial call. Why do you need a follow-up call? And then here's what it says under follow-up call. Schedule launch party. Commit to a time, venue, and date. Share a party checklist and walk through each step of the successful party. Go over a replicated website and policies on how to properly display their team names and business names. Make sure they have received the latest communication from paparazzi. Insider each Monday centered around business building. Newsflash each Wednesday focusing on promotions and events. Review current promotions and upcoming events. Remind them about the 50 PV minimum for commission eligibility each month. And get them enrolled in Fashion Fix. All right. Why do you need to worry about the 50 PV each month if you're just a star consultant and you have no intention to recruit? Because they want you to recruit. They want you to get more people. It's all about recruiting. The entire pamphlet structure that they send to you is all about recruiting. There's nothing in these brochures that talk about how to organize your inventory, how to keep track of your inventory, uh, expenses versus uh, costs. They don't tell you how to keep track of that. Um, so if you have no business savvy at all, or if you've never been in business, um, it's kind of overwhelming. Now, when I started my paparazzi business, I had an Excel spreadsheet and I kept track of everything I spent out of pocket. And then I kept track of my inventory through my Shopify website because my Shopify website, you know, 
kept track of everything. But there's a cost to having a Shopify website. Now, this is the leadership definitions and work tips, okay? So, <clears throat> I'm gonna read the back of this. Now, on the front, it has your, put your consultant information, your team building. So, it has a list of six of your personally sponsored enrollment goal. So they want you to have personally sponsored enrollees. And then what are your desired profits? But again, there's nothing on this that tells you retail profit, $5, divided by 225, number of pieces to sell this month. Okay. This paparazzi math is disgusting because if you, if you do the math, the profits of one sold piece take away uh, from any pieces that you haven't sold. So if you sell one piece of jewelry, your profit is $2.25. But every unsold piece of jewelry is a loss of $2.75. Yeah, you guys, it just, it, it does not make sense. Team building, again, consultant information. You know, make sure each team member is enrolled in Fashion Fix. Why do you want everyone to enroll in Fashion Fix? Why do you have to constantly call them and email them and remind them to enroll in Fashion Fix? Fashion Fix is not worth it. It's not. I'm sorry, but Fashion Fix um, is a waste of time, money, energy, and uh, paparazzi likes to have those subscription services. They love to have those subscriptions. Why? Because it's guaranteed that they will have money coming in the day before um, you guys have your commission checks cut by the company. So they really want you to get those fashion fix things. Now here's the one blurb about sales. Parties are the lifeblood of any successful paparazzi business. Parties are where you find new team members and future hostesses and build a strong, cl strong clientele. To determine how many parties your team members should throw within the month, begin by asking them how much they want to bring home, retail profit. The rest is just simple math. No, it's not. You guys, they don't tell you the actual math. Simply take their desired retail profit and divide it by $2.25. This is the profit made from each single piece of jewelry sold. This will give you the total number of pieces that need to be sold in that month. Take that number and divide it by the average number of pieces sold. But nowhere here does it say you have to buy those pieces first in order to sell them for a profit. So if you have a starter kit and there's 35 pieces in there, your retail uh, profit is only going to be $75 after your initial expense. $75. Uh, most people want to make more than $75. So if you want to make, oh, I don't know, say you want to make what? Say you want to make $500 extra that month. $500 divided by $2.25. You would need 222.22 pieces of inventory. All right. So you want to make $500, you need to sell 222 pieces. Now, Say you have to buy 222 pieces, multiply that by 275. You would need to spend $610.50 plus tax and shipping to make $500. So you're losing $110. You guys, please think about MLM math. They, they do this on purpose. They do this to deceive you. They do this because they don't think you're smart enough to figure this out which is why I'm going to harp on this for ever, forever. I'm going to harp on this. So in this little party planner that they have, they have a bunch of stuff, story time stuff, about ranks. <clears throat> All right. So recognition, ranks and recognition. So... With the compensation plan, let's go over what personal volume is. Personal volume is two, uh, you know, each item is worth two PV, personal volume, okay? One Z collection piece is worth 10 in personal volume. Retail profit. As a paparazzi 
independent consultant, you are able to purchase inventory for your shows or parties at wholesale pricing and sell that same jewelry at the suggested retail price of $5. This gives you an immediate 45% commission. Now, most jewelry stores, most companies will buy at wholesale and mark it up 200%, not 45 okay? You also receive retail profit on all inventory purchased from your personally sponsored customers through your replicated website. Now here's where things get big. Show rebate. For those independent consultants who do larger shows, Paparazzi rewards you. When a consultant purchases a thousand PV or more in a single order, a show rebate of 10% is processed and included in that month's commission check. Um, I remember Jerry saying that this is something that she figured out and that's why she would order a thousand PV per order so she would get that show rebate. Business building bonus. Every time you personally sponsor a new independent consultant into paparazzi you will earn 15% of their initial starter kit purchase as long as you are active and as long as you spend uh, get 50 PV in that month. Okay. Then we have the Unilevel bonus. Earn up to three levels of commission on your team consultants as you progress through the paparazzi ranks and compensation plan. Earn between five and ten percent of your organizational activities just for supporting and training them to find their own success. Now my personal sponsor did not do much to train or support me because she didn't know what she was doing. So, The first level includes all of your personally sponsored consultants. When your personally sponsored consultants sponsor new consultants of their own, it creates a second level and you can have unlimited number of levels within your organization by continuing this pattern. See rank and bonus chart above. Now there's a generation bonus. As you begin to develop stronger leadership within your team and qualify as an executive director or higher, you can earn additional bonuses on top of three generations of your organization. A generation begins every executive director or higher and includes all consultants down to and including the next, next executive director or higher. See rank bonus chart above. A legacy bonus. <clears throat> As an A-lister or higher, you can earn an additional 1-2% to 2 on the volume generated up to three legacies within your organization. A legacy is created when you become an A-lister, and that also includes all consultants down to and including the next A-lister or higher below you. See rank, rank and bonus chart above. Then there's the infinity bonus. As a Lux Jet Setter, you can earn an additional point zero or point is that a point five percent on the volume generated from your entire team, down to including the next Lux Jet Setter or higher. This increases to one percent when you achieve the rank of impressionista. And then cash bonus. When a consultant arrives at the top ranks for the first time by maintaining the required qualifications for two consecutive months, a cash bonus is paid. A Lux Jet Setter gets $25,000, an Impressionista gets $50,000, and an Iconic Impressionista gets $100,000. And that's if you can maintain your rank for two consecutive months and continue to build your team. Now, on top of this, they have the recognition program. You get a little piece of paper that says you are a producer. You get the mission statement on a canvas. Ooh, so you get this, this lovely mission statement printed on canvas. Why? So you can hang it on your fucking wall. All right, and then you get a treat from the paparazzi team. Most likely, a stupid piece of jewelry. When you get Premier Producer, you get the Paparazzi Messenger Bag. Ooh, you get a bag with Paparazzi written on it. Another official certificate. Woo. And a treat from Paparazzi. Right? Then, when you become Executive Producer, you get access to Elite Services. 
cornerstone recognition necklace, which is a necklace where they claim it's Stravarsky crystals. <laughs> and it comes with a display box. You get the elite jacket, the elite necklace, the official certificate, the book How to Win Friends and Influence People. Seriously? Yes, yeah, seriously. David's like, seriously? And a treat from a paparazzi team. <laughs> Dave was like, seriously? Yeah, seriously. You get that stupid book. <laughs> and then when you become a Ma uh, Maven A-lister, you get a Chanel purse, a cornerstone recognition necklace made with Stavarsky crystals, a display box, and another official certificate. Then when you're a jet setter, you get a full set of Toomey luggage. <laughs> It has paparazzi all over it. You get the Jet Setter Getaway, the Cornerstone Recognition Necklace, and a display box, and another official certificate. <laughs> then when you become a Lux Jet Setter, you get a $25,000 hand delivered by the paparazzi bonus cash bonus, a video vignette produced by paparazzi, so video vignette, that's where they put those stupid videos. How, you should do the math on right, how many people you have to have under you and what the minimum cost if they all bought a starter kit would be. Really. I don't want to do that math right now, Dave. That, that's way too much for me so right now. See, when they give you that check, like how much you've made for them at the minimum. Yeah. Well, on top of your, your commission checks every month, this is just a cash bonus. So, you will be given long and short versions for your personal marketing use. Plus, we'll feature you on paparazziaccessories.com. So, the videos that they have on their Facebook page, those are what the video vignettes are. Okay. Cornerstone recognition necklace and display box. Official framed certificate. This time they put it in a frame. It came with the frame. And flowers. They send you flowers. How nice. Then if you become an Impressionista, you get a $50,000 cash bonus, a weekend getaway for you and a guest to Southern Utah, where you stay at the Red Rock Mountain Spa and Resort. Really? Okay. A private tour of Paparazzi Headquarters, Gourmet Dessert of the Month subscription. Yeah, because you need a sweet, sweet, sweet tooth to keep that. <laughs> A cornerstone recognition necklace and display box, official frame certificate, flowers, and additional surprises from the paparazzi team. So, here's, here's the stupid necklaces that you get. Okay? So, and let me read this. When you become one of the elites by arriving at an executive producer, we have the uh, privilege of accessorizing your success with a strong Cornerstone pieces of the paparazzi recognition plan. <laughs> These beautifully handcrafted necklaces are custom made with gorgeous shimmering silver chains featuring a variety of delicate Swarovski crystals. Each design fashionably encompass the milestone it represents, which allows you to wear it adorning your neckline, sparkling proudly, or you can have it in its velvet display box. These wearable trophies uh, have values ranging from a thousand dollars and beyond. I call bullshit. I don't think those necklaces are worth a thousand dollars. They deserve some serious fanfare, which is why we present them exclusively at our annual convention, allowing you to celebrate the monumental achievement and spotlight where you belong. So, these necklaces are they sterling silver with Swarovski crystals? I don't think so. I would love to see one of these in person to see if it's really silver with Stravarsky crystals. Oh my God. So this, you know, this is how they talk you into, you know, building a team is because you can get a set of luggage and a trip to the Red Rock Spa in Southern Utah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing at this because really, you guys, this this is how they get you with stupid, stupid prizes that are not worth the weight of debt that you would put yourself in. It's not worth the weight that um, 
anybody should put themselves in, okay? So here we go. I'm going to uh, put this uh, up here. So here's here's what came out today. So let me move me over. Let's move this over and let me make me smaller. So hold on a second. Here, there we go. So here is what dropped today. So these are all the gorgeous beauties that are still available because yet they have not sold out. Okay, so we've got botanical beaches, coordinated efforts, keeping it chick. 90s Nostalgia, New Age Nautical, and what, Copper? Yeah, it's in Copper. Pyramid Prowl. Yeah, because we have to have pyramid name pieces for our pyramid scheme. Okay, so there's that. Let me put this back over. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Bubby's hiding under Daddy's desk. And then we've got all of this stuff, like, you would think this would sell out because it looks like one of those Fashionista Impressionista pieces that has Stovarsky, Stovarsky crystals or whatever you call it, you guys. I mean, it's not really, but, you know, that's what they try to call it. It's just, this is the stuff that, you know, blows, blows my mind. The bear traps are still available. I'm shocked. Not. Oh look, it's a fashion fix piece that uh, really didn't sell out. And then all the fugly. Look at all the fugly. So let's see. I'm going to go to contact here. And I'm going to see if TN is still available. Uh, let's see. I'm going to pull up a Cheryl. Let's see if we have a Cheryl here. I should just go to... Ooh, yeah, I'm going to Michelle. Where's Michelle Johnny? There's Michelle Johnny. We'll choose Michelle. So let's shop Michelle. Do, do, do. As you can see, they don't have a fashion fix out here. Shocking. So now I'm going to go here. And let's go to search. And we'll go to paparazzi accessories. Yeah, you saw my, my memories there. Oh, look, paparazzi accessories. They have more pretty stuff. Photos. Let's look at their photos. So don't forget every Saturday in March, new drops. This must have been a drop today that I didn't see. Namaste, Mama. Oh, they're now showing you how to pair pieces. I don't know. Is this a new fashion fix? It must be. That must be a fashion fix set, too. But you can't really see the jewelry. You mostly see the model. That must be fashion fix. That must be fashion fix, too. Yeah. That's the birthday gift this month, you guys. If you want to spend 50, you know, buy 50 PV, you can get yourself a birthday gift. Total Eclipse of the Heart, positively po polished. What's with the positivity? I mean, they name everything with a positive spin. Oh, this? Is this something that I missed? This ugly piece of wood with the yellow dip paint? Must be. It's like, are we trying to advertise jewelry here? Oh, these are the, this must be the spring palette. That's what it is. It's the spring palette. Let's look at what they call Harbor Blue, Gossamer Pink, Daffodil, Skydiver, Innuendo, Very Perry, Coco Mocha, Glacier Lake, Dahlia. I don't know how to say that. Basil. Basil. We're going to call a color basil. Spun sugar. And dare to dream. 
spring into being. Oh look, it's all of Misty Kirby's uh, Empower Me Pink outfits that are just, those were bell bottoms, you guys. Ugh. Look, Empower Me Pink, log on. What's with the pleather? Again, pleather and feather. <gasps> Ooh, what's this? It's a fanny pack. Dream hard, work harder. They have a shirt that says that. Dream hard, work harder. Just, ugh, just gross. Dream hard, work harder. Really? I'm sorry, no. Misty is so into fashion. She's so beautiful and she has such good fashion sense. Blah, blah, blah. Because I drink the Kool-Aid. No, I, I, I guess I'm not into fashion, I guess. I mean, because I don't find any of those outfits cute at all. Oh, let's see what this is. Let's see what Ryan has to say. It is March, which means it's spring. I've been watching for a while. So far, I haven't seen any. In fact, this weekend, my yard was full of hundreds of crows. But nonetheless, that signifies that springtime is in the air. My favorite time of the year. So look at the boxes and boxes and boxes that are going past him on that conveyor belt right now. So the warehouse is busy. People are still ordering. Oh, what does spring mean? Mean to change the seasons? It is selling season. So to help you with that, uh, in the month of March, we're going to have releases, four extra releases this month. Think about that. That's almost a full extra week because... Oh, that's where he's like all excited about uh, having extra new releases during the month of March. Yeah, we've got extra new releases coming your way, you guys. So... Paparazzi Founders, We Believe in Bling, blah, 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 blah. Let's see. Is there anything? Let's see if there's anything about sales advice. No. It's all about get your recruits. Get those recruits, you guys. We got to get those recruits. You are enough. It is the will not the skill. Once you learn to quit, it becomes a habit. Let's go back to these. The best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago. The second best time is now. Life is a journey, not a race. New year, new goals. Ugly. Oh look, it's a life of the party bring back. Love life. I know who's going to get those. The Franks. They're going to get those love lives. I'm guessing that they brought those back for themselves. Oh, I remember when this was a bring back when I was a consultant. That is not new. That is a choker. Don't expect to see change if you don't make one. Surround yourself with people who believe in your dreams. Uh, okay. 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 Yeah, it's like Dave said, it's a lot of fortune cookie bullshit is what it is. There's only one way to succeed in anything, and that's to give it everything. It's all about not quitting, which, I mean, you know, fine, you got to put in the effort, but, you know, sometimes, sometimes you need to stop beating your head against the wall. Right? Yeah, stop beating the dead horse. But it's not going to wake up. Not quit, even when you should be like, oh, you're not making money, don't quit. And all toxic positivity, right? And cookie and fortune cookie nonsense. That way, they can dismiss any legitimate problems you have as just you being toxic and and uh, right and not positive. Well, listen to this one. When something is important enough, you do it even if the odds are not in your favor. Is selling selling costume joy jewelry really that important? We're not talking about curing cancer. We're talking about making a few extra bucks. We're, we're talking about making two dollars and twenty-five cents. <laughs> if you're lucky. Yeah, after, that's before expenses. The best way out is through. Right. It's all keep going, keep going. Don't stop. If you're not making money, keep going, and be positive. Don't complain. Even if your complaints are legitimate, it's then it's your fault because you're not positive enough. Yeah, that's Taylor Kirby in a nutshell. 
a grateful heart is a magnet for miracles. <laughs> I mean, how many paparazzi huns have commented on your videos with something along the lines of, well, you're just bitter and... Oh, I've had several of them say that. And here's the thing. I've, I've pretty much called out the paparazzi huns. I've told them, if you comment on my videos defending this company and their practices, I will look you up and I will put your consultant ID under your comment. Because paparazzi, I know for a fact, watches my videos because they've canceled my uh, access to their website twice. I keep making new accounts. Keep canceling them. Keep deactivating those accounts. It's not hard to make a new email address. It's not hard to make a new account, paparazzi. But you can keep trying to deactivate me as much as you want. But um, if you really want to do something about it, block me from your page. Oh, but if you block everyone who makes an anti-MLM video, you're not going to have anyone to see your shit. So, yeah, the best investment you can make is in yourself. <laughs> Do what makes your soul happy. By not doing paparazzi. Yeah. By not going into massive amounts of debt. Don't limit your challenges. Challenge your limit. On your credit card. <laughs> I'd like to challenge my limit. <laughs> yeah. Difficult road, roads lead to beautiful de destinations. Another stupid life of the party drop. I mean, yeah, sometimes the road less traveled is, is the best road. But you know what? Sometimes a dirt road just leads to uh, a pile of mud. Yeah, like nothing. Yeah, and the only strategy that's guaranteed not to fail is not taking any risks. Yeah, it's all cookie cutter. It's, it's all cookie like cutty cutter. Fortune cookie. Daily affirmation bullshit. Yeah. I mean, that's what it is. It's daily affirmation bullshit. And, and it's all to keep you from questioning it. Yeah, or from quitting. Yeah, to keep you, keep you hanging around and spending money as long as possible to keep you bringing in new people and to keep you from complaining, even if your complaints are legitimate. Yeah. Uh, dream hard, work harder. <laughs> it was on a t-shirt, babe. Yeah. It's because a t-shirt. Because this way they conditioned people that if you, if you have a complaint, then, or, you know, it's just because you're not positive enough. You didn't smile hard enough. There's your problem. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, me not smiling enough is a problem. But I love reading the comments on these um, on these platitudes that they put there, out there. Oh, there's a piece that says, be prayer prayerful. Be blasphemous. Be hypocritical. Oh, so gross. Each of us can make a difference. Together we can make a change. And then everyone who's there, yeah, I... It's costume jewelry. You're not curing cancer. Yeah, you're not curing cancer, and, and you're not helping the homeless. If it was legitimate, instead of MLM, it would just be a way to make some money selling jewelry. It would not be this revolutionary bullshit that you talk about. Oh, so one of the consultants that commented on this particular one. With COVID, inflation, and loss of jobs, it has been a tough past year, so I try to spread inspiration, positivity, laughter, and hope while selling $5 jewelry. Ugh. I encourage my customers to support and pray for my customers who tragically lost their people. Again, these are, these are old. These are from October. Oh, paparazzi. It is disgusting what you do. It is disgusting. What you do. But they're, they're doing opportunities. Yeah, they're building dreams and <laughs> lifestyles. And if you if you level up enough, you can get a set of matched luggage. Yeah, it's costume jewelry. It's costume jewelry. It's not an essential item. It's not a need. Well, no. I, I mean, take something like you can apply all their raw, raw, girl boss, we're changing the world stuff to driving for Uber. Women can do it. They can do it in their spare time. They can be their own boss. They can make their own hours, right? And uh, Uber's, like, got its own terrible business practices. But it's not an MLM. It's a, it's a legit thing that you can make money doing. Not a lot of money, but you can make money doing it. So all the stuff that they say paparazzi does, you can apply to driving for Lyft or Uber, 
I wouldn't say that women driving in their spare time for Lyft and Uber is changing the world for the better, would you? No. But at least they're making an honest yeah, living. Yeah, at least it would be an honest living. And they're even, not ripping people off. Even if paparazzi wasn't a pyramid scheme, wasn't an MLM, it would still just be a side hustle. Not the... Right? Not changing the world five dollar jewelry at a time. But, but those who wear it will. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But it's even worse than that. It's not even driving for Lyft or Uber as a side hustle or something. It's it's paying money hoping that you'll make a profit and then as you slowly go into debt or rip off all your friends and family so you can make a profit off of their backs before okay. they go into debt. I'm going to look at the new arrivals on the Frank's website, see what they got. Oh, they got the Taylor Kirby off the hook in brown. Yeah, I mean, oh, they got the flowers that have to die. They got the Friday earrings. They got the brass knuckles. They got the Smarties bracelet. They got the plumy crap. And like I said, their website is so chock full of stuff that, you guys, it takes forever for this crap to load. Oh, the life of the party fabulousness. Ranch Relic Red. Ooh. They've got those galactic go-getters, those iridescent pieces. Ooh. Ah. Galaxy Goddess and Rose Gold. Ooh. Ah. See, I should honestly just use their website to see what the new releases are because apparently they get them. And I'm seeing stuff that I haven't seen because, you know, I'm not there. This one came out, this heartbreakingly blingy necklace, this gold puffy heart with rhinestones in it. That came out in black today. I did see that. Country Sweetheart, Country Sweetheart Necklace, Tank, take, Taken with the Twinkle in Multi. Ugh. You guys, it's just, uh, <laughs> just can't, just can't. I mean, this, uh, you guys, it's just so wrong. These are some of the worst predatory people out there, and their website, they're not selling the stuff, but they have it all available on their website. Honestly, you guys, if this stuff was worth having, paparazzi would not need a middleman to sell this for them. But their customers are their consultants. And until you guys get this drilled into your head, when you are a member of a multi-level marketing company, and it doesn't matter which one, it doesn't matter which multi-level marketing company you are a member of or that you are a consultant impressionista and fashionista or stylist or whatever you want to call it. You are the customer. You are the customer of that multi-level marketing company. You are the one taking all the risk when you purchase this product to resell it. You. You hold the risk. Not the company. They are more than happy to get it pawned off onto you and then they tell you that you can make a really great living selling it and getting a 45% commission. 45%. It's not worth it. Stop being a sucker. Because when you are a member of a multi-level marketing company and it doesn't matter which one, you are basically the consumer for that multi-level marketing company and you assume all the risk. They already have their money. They don't care if you're stuck with this shit product. They don't care that they lied to you and told you it was lead and nickel free when it's not. They don't care if you have starlit shimmer items in your store, you know, because honestly, they would rather you, you take the risk. They would rather you take it because they don't care. They have your money. And they don't care if you're stuck with it. You know, but, you know, wear your queen bobby pin and your love bobby pin and your sparkle and shine bobby pins and your star bobby pins and all these other stupid ass bobby pins. Yeah, because that's where the money is. The money is with you buying it and holding it. They don't care if you sell it or not. It's sick. It's disgusting. It needs to stop. So I've been ranting a lot.
So I'm going to end it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. I respond to them when I have time. Have a great night, guys. Bye.